hi guys this is dio again with another video so it's been a while but i'm back i would say i'm back i'll try and be very active i'm sorry for being a week for a few months so i am trying to see how i can make it up to you using this tutorial so i've been getting a lot of dms ever since i painted this picture and i've posted it on my social media i've got a lot of dm regarding to the breeds the hair so i'm making this tutorial to clarify the process of how you can actually sketch this hair so the first thing you're going to be doing is your sketch so after you've filled up your sketch uh, the, the hair with the solid black color what is left for you is to detail the hair so i'm going to be showing you how to detail the hair to achieve the same look that i did on the previous painting i posted a few years ago so what i you're going to be doing is selecting an ash color or whatever color you prefer then you select your pencil you can use the hard pencil you can use whatever pencil you prefer i'm going to be using fine line pencil um, fine line pen sorry um so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be sketching the the strands of the hair so as you can see the pattern of the braid it's and um, the the braid pattern um how the strands are arranged is you are going to be slanting your you're going to be drawing your slanty line towards the left and towards the right just opposite sides you can see the way i am doing it just make sure you concentrate and you see the way i follow the direction of the hair strands so just keep in mind that the hair strands differs uh, considering the part of the hair you are sketching so if you are sketching maybe towards the uh, forehead maybe this the strands um, direction of the strands may differ if you are going to do towards the back of the hair the head it's going to differ so it really depends on the direction in which the hair it, um, is positioned so just make sure you see just con concentrate and see the way i draw them um, facing opposite sides and make sure it's looking exactly like this because this is the pattern of braids this is a braid pattern this is just practically what I've done um, in the paintings uh, to, in that painting you all have been asking so this is just what I've done um, but I'm still going to be showing you some tips and easier way to go about this so if you can actually draw the pattern offhand without um, you if you can't actually draw the pattern offhand you can actually place your picture and reduce opacity i'm still going to be showing you how to do that you're just practically going to be tracing over if you can actually do if you can just paint it offhand i'm still um, drawing the strands um on two different sides different opposite sides so just make sure your strands are slanty enough to depict the breed um, breed pattern so as you can see just make sure you keep zooming out to see what you're doing And again you can select your soft eraser to clean the edge and to refine the edge to make it look more um, breed like and realistic so you can reduce the opacity of your eraser soft eraser then you clean by the side to blend it to make it look more breed more like a breed So you can see how I am using my eraser to reshape and to um, to make it look nice and make it look more like a breed. So in between, 
the lines in between the slanty lines i feed them i feed the edge edges put the edges so you can duplicate your layer to make it more sharper and more opaque and more um, thick so yeah You can actually duplicate the layer then transform to save time instead of sketching the whole strands um, the whole detailing you can actually just pick some you can use your transform tool to shift it to whatever side you want to um shift it and instead of sketching the sketching the whole hair strands you can actually just copy and paste on a different layer then readjust it readjust it and reshape it to whatever side you want to um, shape or you want to paste so yeah this is just practically all about this tutorial on sketchbook i'm going to be showing you how to do this on ebspent s so do well to stick around so before we proceed to ebspent x i'm going to be showing you how to uh, apply colors so you're just practically going to be alpha locking the layer of your alpha locking the layer of your um detailing then you apply whatever color you want to apply so that's just simple as that so you just select a color then make sure the layer is alpha locked then you apply your color and that's it We are going to be EB Spend X to see how we can do the same thing on it. So we are now on so we are now on EB Spend X and we've created a new layer and we will be selecting a deep pen pen tool for this detailing. So we are going to be selecting a white color or a gray color for our detailing. Make sure your force feed is turned on then make sure um you uh, have duplicated make sure you've duplicated the reference layer and take it to the top make sure it's at the top of the your detailing layer so after you're done with that then you can reduce opacity of the reference go to the reference tab on it and reduce opacity change the opacity of the layer to whatever opacity of your choice but make sure it's not too thick make sure it is light and but make sure you can actually see detail on the hair um, as well so i'm going to be using 29 as the opacity then i'm going to be going back to my layer under it and be tracing it so as you can see this is the easier way you can go about detailing your braids so this is just practically what i'm going to be doing and make sure you follow the pattern the stroke pattern of the hair so this is all about this hair detailing you can actually do the same process on whatever software you're using to draw and again you can use an alpha lock um, feature to replace whatever color you want to replace on your hair on your hair on the hair detailing and also on the flat color for the hair you can actually alter whatever color you want to alter using the alpha lock um, function and just select whatever color and replace it immediately so thanks guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe and i'm going to um, be posting tutorials helpful tutorials from henceforth and yeah if you have any question do well to go to my uh, social media platform facebook or instagram or whatever pl platform you can have access to in your country just do well to search for the dias gfx and fulu and also um, feel free to chat me up if you have any question i'll be glad to answer so see you in my next video peace